George throws a ball at a target 15 times. Each time George throws the ball, the probability of the ball landing on the target is 0 0.48. The random variable x represents the number of times George hits the target in 15 throws. To find the probability that x is 3 for the first part. So it's a binomial expansion. So we could say that x is distributed binomially and n is 15 and the probability of success is 0 0.48. So we're just using the calculator. Go to binomial expansion, so menu, go down to distribution, binomial probability distribution for a variable so x is 3 n is 15 and the probability of hitting it 0 0.48 so just press equals and we get 0 0.0197 to three significant figures The second part, the probability that x is bigger or equal to 5. So the probability that x is bigger or equal to 5 is 1 minus the probability of it being 4 or below. So we're going to work out the probability it's 4 or below. Again, binomial distribution, but this time it's binomial CD cumulative. So this time we're looking at 4. N still 15. The probability is still 0 0.48. So we've got 0 0.0799. So it's 1 minus 0 0.799. And so let's go menu 1. 1 minus answer. That's 0 0.920. Part B. So George now throws the ball 250 times. And now it's 250 times. And we're using a normal approximation. So we're going to do a normal distribution this time the mean will be n which is 250 so the mean is going to be 250 n times the probability 0 0.48 so 250 times 0 0.48 that's 120 that's the mean and the standard deviation is the square root of n times the probability of success times 1 minus the probability of success. So 1 minus 0 0.48, which is 0 0.52. I'll just leave it in that form actually for now. And we want to calculate the probability let me just work out what is 250 times 0 0.48 times 0 0.52. If it's a nice number, I can use it. If not, I'll leave it in that form. Yeah, 62.4, so that's okay. So square root 62.4. We've got a mean. We've got our standard deviation. We want to know the probability that hits the target more than 110 times. So binomial expansion, or the number of times he hits it, can only go up by one each time. So 110, then 111, then 112. There's nothing in between. But when we're using a normal, it's got to be continuous. So we're going to say 110 goes from 109.5 to 110.5. So we're looking for the probability that it's bigger than 
So we've got our n, we've got our mean, we've got our standard deviation. Let's use our normal distribution. The menu, distributions, number seven. Normal cumulative. So the lower is 110.5. Now the upper, well, we want to go as far as possible. So just put in a really, really, really big number. The standard deviation is square root 62.4. Mean is 120. So we've got a probability of 0 0.885. 0 0.885.